Good morning. How are we? Stand to your feet this morning. We are going to worship God. Amen. We're going to be in his house and worship with joy, with his goodness, resting upon this house. Amen. Come on.
There's a power. There's a power that's made perfect in my weakness and fills me up with the strength I experience. And I found no both in your everlasting promise. It fans my faith into a flame. I'm living. I'm living with God. Inside of me, I live for two. Jesus, eternally. With all that I am, Lord, I give you my heart. So let the flame shine bright. Let your praise sing louder. In a moment. In a moment, you tell me.
inside of me. Join me. I need your fire inside of me. Oh, it burns on every impurity. Yeah. I need, I need your fire. Again, just the voices again. I'm living. Yeah, I'm living with the up all over this auditorium. Let's just welcome his fire right now. Let's welcome his inspiration, his revelation, his ministry, his, his burning of wisdom, his burning of truth, his burning of renewal and freshness. Lord, we welcome you right now. We welcome you right now. We welcome you right now. We open our hearts to you. We open our hearts to to your ministry on the inside, God. The enthusiasm, the, the power of the Holy Spirit to transform us inwardly, to shift our hearts inwardly, to shift our focus, our vision. We welcome your enablement, your richness of grace. Oh, come on, just tell him that he's sufficient. Just whatever you're going through, wherever you're at, whatever vision is in, before you, come on, let's just tell him he's sufficient. Let's tell him that he's more than enough. Let's acknowledge his greatness on the inside. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let him know of his richness this morning, that you are receiving of his richness. You are receiving of His grace. You are receiving of His kindness, His outpouring. Oh. Come on, if you're dry of spirit, if you're dry of heart, if you're, if you're dry of fire, even as we're singing that, invite, invite Him to revive. Paul said to Timothy, stir up the spirit that is in you. Stir up the spirit that is in you. Stir up the spirit that is in you. Come on, that's our role. That's our place. That's our place to lean into Him, to look to Him doing it fresh, to welcome Him, to blow on the embers of the Word, to blow on the embers of salvation, to blow on the embers of restoration, to blow on the embers of faith, 
Let him blow on the embers of faith in your heart this morning. Come on, we shed discouragement. We shed doubt. We shed fear. We shed unbelief. We set aside every hindrance that would keep the fires of God from burning on the inside. We welcome your fire, Lord. We welcome your fire, Lord. We welcome your fire, Lord. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, activate your voice and activate your cry for the fire of the Lord to burn on the inside of you. A freshness in the Lord. A freshness in the Lord. A freshness in the Lord. Yeah, Lord. More Lord, more Lord, more Lord. More Lord. Come on, let him ignite your faith. Let him ignite your heart. Let him ignite your vision. Come on, we're dull of vision. If we're dull of vision, he's got fresh vision for us. If we're dull of zeal, he's got fresh inner zeal. Come on, he's the one that wants to wake you up in the morning. He's the one that wants to be the energy. He's better than coffee, better than caffeine. He's better than Pepsi. He's better than cocaine. He's better than anything the world offers. The zeal within. We welcome the zeal within. We welcome the zeal within. We welcome the fire from within. We welcome the burning of our God on the inside. We welcome your burning, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's oh, sing it again. Let's sing it again. Oh, yeah. Inside of me, I'm living for the same. Jesus, eternally, with all that I am, Lord, I give you my heart to let the flame shine brighter. Let your praise be. this morning. Give him an ovation. Oh, stir up Thanksgiving. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, yeah. Come on, we're not going to let the weather determine our emotion. We're not going to let the heaviness and clouds put a dampener on our inner man. Come on, the Lord is refreshing us. The Lord is refreshing us. He's shining on us. He's rich on us. Oh, we love you, Lord. Come on, I'm going to open the front for prayer. I want the prayer team to come. And as we continue in worship, we want to bring requests to him. We want to bring needs forward. We want to bring visions that we've been having and let them be prayed over. We want, we want the goodness of God to be released over us in prayer and in prophetic utterance this morning. Come on, the Lord has got good for you. The Lord has good intention for you. This is, this is him declaring even over the future that which he sees coming to pass. And we welcome it right now. So as we continue in worship, come on, you're not a stranger in this house. This is family. You're not a stranger. And by the way, the Lord knows you and he knows your name. He knows you were going to be here this morning. He knows how many hairs are left on your head. He knows everything about you. It's not an accident that you're here. He has been wooing you. He's been drawing you that he might speak over you. That's what prophecy is, that he might speak over you his goodness, that he might speak over you his love, that he might speak over you what he's destined and the goodness that he wants to pour out in your life. And so we want to welcome that. Lord, we welcome you to speak through your servants, speak through sons and daughters, speak through prayer, speak through intercession, speak through this gathering this morning. Lord, we agree the atmosphere is supercharged with your word and your presence that you might lift us, lift our eyes, lift us out of struggle, lift us out of trouble, lift us out of the mundane, lift us out of the weary into what you've ordained for us. Come on, let's worship more.
I just feel like we're just supposed to sing that this morning. Would you sing it with me? You're more than enough for me, for me. You're more than enough. I see, I see it now. You're more than enough for me, for me. You're more than enough. I see, I see it now. You're more than enough. Sing it out. For me, for me, you're more than enough. I see, I see it now. You're more than enough, Jesus. I see it now for you. That you made a way for me. Let the King of my heart. Sing it out. Come on.
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's do more of that ovation thing. Let's just thank him. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're super, some of us are super familiar with a little passage out of Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah, declaring something over Israel. And it was at a time when Israel, uh, they were really out of line with God. Uh, they should have received a word of judgment. And, uh, you know, I mean, it should have been bad news for them, right? But instead, Jeremiah, this prophet of God who should have had this bad proclamation over these stubborn children of Israel, he says, I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to do you good. Plans to bless you. Plans to prosper you. Plans to give you a hope-filled future. That's what Jeremiah said. That's chapter 29, verse 11. We're familiar with it, and I, I just feel like that's the Lord shouting over you this morning that he has plans to do you good. And I think sometimes, you know, we're, afra we're a little bit afraid uh, of God's plans. We're a little bit afraid of kind of yielding to God's plans, and we, we've been lied to by the enemy to believe that that God's plans are a mess up for your life and yielding to God's plans are certainly going to contradict your plans but how many of you know that's a lie who in the world made you who knows how he made you who knows how he wired you who, who knows what he designed you for in this generation no one better than God and God is able to do two things at the same time he's able to lead you into good and get good done for him as well at the same time. We, we, we think if it benefits God, it won't benefit me. But God has said, watch me, I can do both at the same time. It's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be better than you thought it's going to be. And so, Lord, we just trust you. We look to you. We affirm our faith in you. We turn our hearts over to you. We thank you that you're good all the time, 24-7. You're good before we get there. Before we get wherever we're going, you've already gotten there to bring good. You're leading us into good. And we bless you for it today. In Jesus' name, and everybody shout it. Woo! Oh, come on, greet one another this morning. Introduce yourself to somebody around you. Encourage somebody in the Lord this morning. Come on, show yourself friendly for a moment. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah.